Observation warns rules may prejudice and discrimination. World wars not only do the progress and consequence of stereotypes and cultural prejudice, but they are constantly in religion marginalized by government laws that are constructed from urbanized rules, mindset, and mindset that continue to view rural and agriculture as synonymous from Basque 2003. Our society, societies that love a relation with broken community, those who live in rural areas are often stereotypes, uneducated, unsophisticated, and stereotypes that degenerate into such description and backward, unattractive, lazy, stupid, and dirty. This is a grim socioeconomic legal reality. Reality will let against real dwellers who are decidedly second class under the law of governmental benefits and falls into the heat under all of the truth matter. Our society's basis is tri- decidedly urban. Our society's focus on the problems are based on urban rather than rural assumptions. Our social societies are urban focused both on overshadows and marginalized rural dwellers. And despite the prevailing oppressive stereotypes and predatory prejudice of policies associated with rural and rural begins a widely unrecognized and unaddressed form of discrimination from Basque 2003. Realism exacerbates the impacts of discrimination against other protected groups, the culmination of discriminatory impact on individuals, both of female African Americans, well documented realism itself, is a separate independent basis for discrimination, perhaps even more dismayed than the actual dismayed and called realism with the black and worse than the prejudice of realism, as a phenomenon of large impact discrimination against world laws, zone and other knowledge on the other world, bias, has become an objective norm, hiding from the language perception of accept, expectation of dominant discourse of realism is a phenomenon as it acknowledges it is discovered as a virtually, and also aspects of living to the notion of family recognized discrimination because it does not look like discrimination against realism particularly hard. The impact of realism is not like the impacts of certain victims of racial sexual or other discrimination against the background of poverty and impure schools, lack of access to discrimination laws, and the hospital of justice and equal protection all apply to, real, uh, to realism. And fetus politics of, of uh, policy and subsidies. It is a wise premise to believe that agriculture subsidies and the rural American facilities only serve the advanced interests of a corporate agribusiness. The common stereotype that all rural people working in farms is behind leave those, leaves those who do not fit the description to be excluded from politics from back to 2003. The voice of the other minorities also are introduced for world the political arena of Latin world wars. The vast majority of our population is more than 80% of the in urban, suburban, and only about 20% of the general areas. This rural minorities are underrepresented in this under similar example of the urban minority, but it consists of regards to rural minorities. The wise political elite that federal farms of these bank will family farm, only 6% of the rural blood, so the farms there are 90% of all rural workers are engaged in on farm and farm of these largely, but if an aggregate is not individual family farms, when those who are rural areas and rural areas, how their voice are represented, our rural population, the head of the nation, always comes in different regions and different races, uh, different incomes, different goals, different needs, and different problems. The rural blood are tied to the virtual in the rural areas and common decisions for every residing in the most isolated, most rural or rural areas, including in the community, isolation, poverty, lack of access to goods and services, rural wars, lack of political power, and accordingly are, are largely ignored. And the result of the free logic for agricultural policies and devastation of rural communities and forces people in the cities so that corporations can dominate the rural landscape and use the land at will from Barry 2003. The idea of global free market is merely capital and so far successful attempt to enlarge the geographic scope of its greed and moreover depress its uh, greed status right where it's uh, presumptive territory to keep the cost of labor lowest and necessary for to entire forest country people to everywhere in the world to move into the cities. The cause of the land economy is well produced is even civil farmers that are working their work land economy by large and are not organized day for therefore unable to grow production while they secure their prices, they have no power for the range or demands increasingly they must sell not to neighbors or neighboring towns or cities or but to large remote corporations. The land is the to travel down among money of exploited and so on that was upwards government to subsidize production without production control which necessarily will encourage overproduction which will lower prices also subsidy the world Position becomes in fact a subsidy to the virtual corporations and land using economy production is further achievement by destroying the lower prices, low standards of quality, the, co- the cultural imperative for good work and land stewardship, and the effects of rules on rural landscape preserves the proof as why, for, uh, why in which federal policies are always constructed from an urban perspective and thus always dismantle rural areas. This is the most stable and clean placement of not toxic chemical dumps and industrial waste in prisons and rural locations from Grass in 2003. Rules of also services in environmental law are the sites always with undesirable being all intended to be with location where the residents are the least likely to protest. In fact, the racism exists in the setting of such undesirable land uses and the undesirable land uses occurs in rural areas and where equity issues remain major concerns for those who are asked to live in a hostile waste, uh, to host waste facility. It's technically a preferable source of waste in the lost development area, which turns the leads to the setting of where such facilities in rural areas, the setting of toxic chemicals, and other industrial waste in prisons in rural areas. So, about three examples of rural and ruralism. Similarly, is the reason why the lack of adequate and fair regulation, air pollution, and water pollution, and pesticide generation of rural areas, ruralism appears in a variety of other laws and act by Congress reflecting those who are bias. Of our federal policy, due to the minorities of rural blood, another obviously the equal treatment, but even those regulations both equally will protect urban and rural areas still neglect the will and in favor of urban folks. And the situation is tantamount to the economic genocide against rural blood from Mary 2003. Proven by the rapidly diminishing number of the economic capital of the world, small farmers and our furniture of people have about 6,000 dollars in the end of these what are they about? The obviously small community consideration, but they're very much destroyed. Tell how they're doing, very much better than they are, whether they may be not as wise as they are, just want to go over the wire and So, you know, just like less bloody than military just like to be sure, but not as they're just every pollution release and perhaps even more effective in ridding the world of human time, a kind of human life. And observation two, our affirmation of framework. Thus, we from the resolution that we all the United States federal government should substantially reduce its agricultural support of at least eliminating nearly all domestic subsidies for biofuels, phosphate, and feeding operations, corn, cotton, dairy, fisheries, rice, so- soybeans, sugar, and or wheat, and ones are affirmation. We from the resolution that established when rules can be and must be recognized. We do not have the policy implications or possibilities of the resolution because, as all the ways he just policies always crafted from an urban mindset and marginalized and they exclude and discriminate against rural dwellers. They, we, therefore, we will argue the recognition of rules and shift the way in which we think, talk, and construct policies with regard to rural dwellers and locals is a necessary prerequisite to build a permanent and negation of policy action. Furthermore, it is particularly urgent with the edges acquisition of rules that you receive to discuss agricultural policy because it's precisely in questions of agricultural policy that rural dwellers are most explicitly overlooking, ignoring, and dissipate. This happens because the federal government continues to view agricultural policy like increasing or decreasing probability as a rural policy. 
despite the fact that Bassett points out that it's probably 6% of all of rural water farmers. Given the strength of statistics, it becomes clear that agricultural policy is insufficiently remedy to the harvest that persists in rural areas. Our farms that are, are largely the result of previous historically destructive agricultural policies must be clear. We are not saying the policy is always bad, the policy can never be good, but simply that in order for policy to be effective, an epistemological consideration of rules must be considered first. And June is our framework. As an alternative to this destiny, second rule is discrimination from stereotyping and gradual policies. Are we encourage recognition and rethinking? We will defend a framework whereby the question of knowledge and education, i.e., epistemology, must pre sweep questions of action. We will defend the considerations of, of the ways which we think and construct notions of morality, the real answer, the real identity on an everyday basis must be our first priority in approaching questions of proxies. Oh, it's 2005. What stories we choose to tell in the way in which we decide to tell it from the point of provisional basis before critical pedagogy and future might mean the cultural agents for social justice to refuse to allow our personal collective narratives and identity to be people inside the same level of everyday uh, life or one of kind of traditionally grounded identity and one of workforce subjectivity has become unmoored uh, from its, uh, its former narratives of social justice and post-colonial politics and ethics with the national utopian possibilities of practicing the thoughts of liberatory pedagogies of the type of proxy required for people to move from acquiring the shaping economic, social, and cultural, and subjective form of formation that affects the lives and lives of others. The classroom is at its best, thus becomes part of the cultural resistance to the objectification of the other. And Three is the evaluation criteria. First and foremost, like any admit the judge should evaluate the debate based on which team has the better job of debating more, and other teams based on which teams more successfully convince the judge to endorse their, uh, their argument. Furthermore, we believe the judge should evaluate this debate in the context over affirmative that holds that question of epistemology should see question of action to both affirmative to endorse that, uh, the view that rules with destructive mindset that is, is wreaking psychological material havoc on our world communities, that it must be recognized, considered, and addressed. Observation three is why the app is a good idea. Recognition of rules is the necessary step for change from Bass in 2003. Rural dwellers suffer numerous documented disadvantages. Recognition of the rarity of these disadvantages is long overdue as others is formed. The discrimination rules will practice the disparities in the poor and power between urban and rural uh, dwellers. Recognition rules as a phenomenon is the, is, is the first necessary step available to just provide powerful evidence that the disadvantage produced by rural dwellers. Poverty and lack of access to our rural documents. These disadvantages have prevented rural dwellers from full representation, socially generated, and in the university attendance and full, and full entry into the legal profession in particular. And we must question, question how we learn, uh, how, question how we learn is that pre-wax is undercoming how assumptions prevent away violence from Jerome 2007. As a performative practice, pedagogy should open the condition for students to be able to repeatedly frame their own relationship with the ongoing project of unleashed democracy. It's precisely this relation between democracy and pedagogy that shows that in the conversation to conservatives, pedagogy always represents the commitment to the future and remains the task of educators to make sure that this future voice is more socially and worldly, worldly, which discourse of uh, critique and possibilities in conjunction with the, with the values of reason, freedom, and equity, fall from function to alter as part of a broader different kind of project in the grounds in which, uh, li which life is lived. It is a project that gives education the most uh, valuable purpose and meaning, which is part of the encouragement and aid to pedagogy. The members go to the very hard work needs to address real and of power and do conceive education as part of the democracy. Situation. is not simply concerned with uh, offering students new ways of being critically and active authority as agents of the classroom, is also concerned with providing <coughs> students with the skills and knowledge necessary for them to expand their capacities both to question deep seated assumptions and myths that legitimize the most archaic and superpowered social practices that structure every aspect of life and take responsible for entering in the world that they inhabit. And such a pedagogical commitment allows for interrogation of the concealed ego. This is key to preventing the world's violence from drone in full. Education was crucial to a point of departure from imagining autonomy, recognizing interdependence of human life, and stopping cycles of violence. This requires a pedagogical of commitment to return us to the human where we do not expect to find it in the prevailing state of the limits. If that makes sense, we would have to interrogate the emergence of the dimension of the human and the lands, which we again know what we can hear, what we can see, what we can sense, and by problems effectively to be bigger than intellectual projects, predicting the question coming to understand the difficulty of demanding the cultural translation. And said the limits of education have to understand what is difficult to grasp, and simply because one word to be not one of part of respect for humanity is a visceral repulsion of the suffering for others, and ethical conception of mutual obligation is conceivable that for some such condition of violence and stress, the only thing was imaginable that the only avenue to the reach of the can be attained by extending the logic of to those who do better, those uh, undeserving of the narration and agency and power. Education must be engaged not only as a primary condition for constructing political moral agents, but also as public uh, pedagogy. And right. to make sure you, like, whenever CX happens, try to stand where you are next to him. Okay. So your, one of your basic parts talks about the representations of rural people, and you listed a few characteristics of how rural dwellers are typically represented, right? How they are viewed from the urban perspective. Okay. Did you offer another um, way that rural dwellers are viewed in the landscape? Like other care, set of characteristics that could describe them as people? Like, like a common characteristic? Or yeah, like just any other besides the one basic part that talks about them as dirty, stupid, lazy. I don't, I mean, I, I, if you're asking if any of my other evidence has those characterizations, like, like yeah, just I don't think there are any evidence that actually specifically says, I mean, that's the one card that okay. says that this is the exact name that they're being okay. called. Okay. The, awesome. the other evidence eludes the same, okay. um, like, characterizations. All right, very cool. All right, so you talk a lot, Bassett talks a lot, a lot, a lot about recognizing ruralism is really key to shedding light on this problem. Um, what role does the ballot have in recognizing ruralism? Um, I think our intention is just that the, 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 the ballot will be necessarily just recognizing the idea that the rural like, thing okay. is bad. So like a judge endorsement that rules is bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. would be, yeah, I think that we should question the epistemology of the 
Oh, okay. So like highlighting the problem as equivalent one AC doesn't solve the problem. It has to take like a stamping improvement, so to speak. Not necessarily. Like, I, I, our, our pedagogical approach, kind of this idea that we can, like, the, the very idea of talking about our speech act alone mm -hmm. is um, recognizing the problem that, I mean, that alone, even if the judge doesn't vote for it, there's enough people in this room that like, it's doing okay. something. So. All right. So what does the world look like in the world of the affirmative? Um, does this epistemological reorientation uh, perhaps solve factor realism? Like, do you claim any chance of solving for the real people who currently suffer? I mean, I don't think that we, I mean, there, we don't, I don't, I mean, we don't necessarily have to. That's cool, I just want to know like, what you're going to defend. Like, Jerome Evans says that it, like, challenge the assumptions that make realism. All right, yeah. so does that have any effect on the impact realism will have on the people who suffer from it currently? Or is it just, we're just going to be concerned with an epistemological orient reorientation if that's our only goal? Which, or can we stick to? Okay, well, is there any evidence in your 1AC that says that an epistemological reorientation will solve for people currently suffering from ruralism? Oh. I, 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 that's like the entire, like, yeah, like, we can sum up this rural evidence act is pretty good on this question that we have. Okay, what does the rural evidence say? It says that we must undermine the, these uh, the underpinning notions of what like, created these the situations that like, create rural. Okay, and how does that interact with rural, rural people who suffer from ruralism and stuff? How does it interact with Yeah, them? how does the rural interact with ruralism? I don't, I guess I don't want to change the question. Yeah, how, does, how is Jerome relevant to ruralism? <laughs> That's my question. Specifically? <laughs> yes, specifically, how, why did you read the Jerome of this? Because we have a challenge in underlying the like, field of this module before you okay. talk to anyone. All right, you ready? The affirmative attempt to compel action out of the 1AC is justified uh, through the depiction of the suffering of rural people is indicative of the, of, of the calculative thought that attempts to manage the world and society in general. We will argue that this managerial approach is a facet of a subjective, ego-driven will to power that turns the experience of suffering by others into a standing reserve, valuable for the utility and debate, but ultimately merely a representation that further entrenches the hierarchies of discrimination. There's a row evidence calls us to make reforms in our pedagogical uh, pedagogical uh, representations of rural people, but does not address the root cause, which is a bad orientation or ontology toward dealing with social discrimination. Until they question how they relate to the world, students informed by this new pedagogy won't be able to fully change their knowledge about the world. A judge endorsement won't rid our culture of the structures of discrimination that perpetuate hierarchies. Their Owens evidence is indicative of an epistemological questioning of the subject. However, this diverts our attention to the question of who or what is a subject in relation to whom. This is how ontology perceives epistemology in that coming to understand a given orientation toward knowledge does not take into account the subject object perspective from which we formulate our knowledge. The representations that the 1AC seeks to change will remain uh, the, the same so long as we do not fundamentally alter the ontological perspective of the subject. Their very evidence about free market logic bases is harms on managerial thinking. The only reason why world dwellers uh, suffer from agribusiness is because of the overlying managerial thought process that pervades our culture. The uh, alternative will solve the root cause of the creation of the rural urban dichotomy. This dichotomy only exists because it is an instrument uh, to a to to a managerial ont ontological position towards the world. Okay. The affirmative's uh, guilty response to rural problems simply entrenches managerial attitudes. McWhorter 92. When we, 
When we react to problems like ecological crisis by uh, retreating to the familiar discomfort of our Western sense of guilt, we are not placing ourselves into opposition to technological thinking and the ugly consequences. We are simply researching our technological dream of perfect managerial control. Our guilt professes faith in the managerial dream that problems lie simply in, in, in mismanagement or in a failure to manage. When we respond to high risk, called by indulging the feelings of guilt about how we have. Uh, uh, how we are treating the object earth, we are really just telling ourselves how we truly, how powerfully we as Asians are. We are telling ourselves that we really could have done differently. We have the power to make things work. If only we had stuck closest to the principles of good management. The dream of that sort of managerial omnipotence is, is itself the very danger of which Heidegger warns. Next. The affirmative will to calculate and control reduces all of, the, uh, of nature to a stable and always predictable standing reserve. All beings are rendered objects in a steadfast refusal of the revelations of being, ensuring war and equicide. Zero in 81. The present spiritual devastation more canny than physical disruption. Heidegger is not pleased with the, uh, uh, its trace. The self-sustaining, constantly expanding, ultimately endless systems of mass production and consumption, power, politics, global warfare. Uh, once the world becomes a mere picture for the human subject, men contend for the right to uh, organize that picture. Uh, values become nothing more than the uh, objectification of needs as those refuse to acknowledge to anything transcendent. Uh, uh, tr transcendent nation states try to dominate each other in the course of raw material production and consumption are organized as part of the push for total power worldviews arise from a self-positive, self-directed in mankind of beings and its unconditioned domination over all means of power of the earth and over the earth itself justified means only what is uh, useful for power enhancement in industrial society as the authoritative subject thinking as politics wars provide civilian leaders are the instruments of world that uh World destiny, everything is planned for production because something humans are the most important raw material. Man himself will turn it into a calculated market value. Every day, life is determined to the demands of the economic system. We no longer understand death, pain, or love. We are uprooted and alienated. Industries become sewers, the air is poisoned, forced, annihilated, mountains are flattened, farms become agribusiness, all under the ages of self development. The technological will of power has outstripped man's capacity to control it. Before being can occur in its primal truth, the will must be broken. Next. Our alternative is releasement. Releasement exists beyond the distinction between action and inaction, which simply being resolved allows for an entirely novel revelation of being outside of the domain of the will and its strength to hold on politics. In Roman in 81. An individual regards himself as the self granted vantage point around which everything else is organized as an object for him. Uh, the, the religious individual no longer experiences himself as looking out on objects instead of beings are appearing through him. Renouncing will requires a tracing of will which disappears entirely in releasement. This trace of willing is how we are to think resolutely uh, as the properly un undertaken self opening of Dawson. Doing means acting to achieve a goal positive by the ego. The not doing characteristic of the released individual is in no way a matter of weakly allowing things to slide and drift along. Not doing something like the power of resolve awaiting the manifestation of being can involve practical activity. We are open for the possibilities of beings instead of, instead of subject things to our will. Uh, we, let, uh, we seek to let them be what they already are. Thinking does not mean to die of reason calculating or categorizing these dualistic operations to reduce beings to objects for the, for the subject in the released individual, there is no longer a self-conscious ego. Only when the human essence renounces human self-will and projects away from himself does he correspond in his essence to the, uh, the claim of that insight. Thinking is a kind of thinking. We accept the gift of existence, release of means becoming aware of our openness. The release simply uh, comes unexpectedly as a gift. Next. The affirmative forestalls of rethinking by proposing an epistemological reorientation as a solution, thus recreating the harm that they attempt to solve. Transformative Heideggerian rethinking is needed to avoid destroying the earth. McWhorter 92. How do you reflection upon the fact that our being as earth wells can be transformed by our thinking at its very core and therefore transformed by our world? Our culture is insistence upon a divorce between rationality and other ways of thinking and knowing has resulted in an impoverishment of our being and a destructive distance even the earth that gives rise to shelters and sustains us. When we take ourselves in the earth as fixed entities to be comprehended by rational observation and theoretical conscience, we lose sight of our earth and being human as process has objects changing, growing, outgoing, living, and dying. It is only when we begin to think a human being in earth as fixed, uh, uh, unfixed transformation of our being a uh, less destructive understanding of humanity can come into being and, and such understanding is absolutely necessary for, uh, to avoid destroying the earth. Next. The fall from being alienated human life uh, from what is truly important, making life valueless. Zimmerman in 81. The subject values uh, the subject values security and certainty above all else. Mankind as a subject can be secure only the entire cosmos can be subject to the whole mobilization of the earth because the impression that mankind has finally become the master of destiny, meaning uh, the meaning of life is now defined in terms of an ever increasing standard of living. Life becomes ambiguous because people act in the accepted way, even though they have the, the vague feeling that the prevailing standards are, are destructive of life. The information explosion results from scientific research assures us that we know more and more, although in fact we know less and less about what is most important. The idle chatter around uh, about the innumerable discussions can be to promote world peace or to arrange more equitable ex exploitation of the Earth's uh, resources. Mankind is, is caught by the throw of folly. The goal of happiness and security are all tranquilizers uh, at the populace, uh, which must be uprooted, exploited, and abused in the process of, of bringing about happiness. Mankind is alien from itself as the openness for the being of beings entangled in, in the enormous process of production and consumption. Mankind experiences a turbulence which threatens to destroy it. The inauthentic person feels fragmented because he experiences time as a series of disconnected episodes. His life has no sense of unity. Uh, rootless and homeless, we uh, restlessly prowl the planet. In outer space, we are deluded to think that being master sailors is enough to find the harbor of Earth we desperately seek. On case. The affirmative calls of morality and ethics are just this uh, disguised technological motives to aim, uh, aim to control and manage the world. Make order 92. 
Moral discourse and practice of the self forms of technology sets and techniques for maintaining control over self and others. And such morality uh, shows itself as a danger. Part of the technological caliphate of managerial thinking that currently endangers the earth. Uh, the, the essay closes with the kind of warning is the case for morality that is part of technological discourse and practice rather than a separate discourse whose purposes critique the more moral condemnation, moral guilt, or re instantations of the calculus. Thus, our tendency to feel guilty about our treatment of the earth is not a, a change of heart, but is rather a perpetuation of human domination. Next. Attempting to calculate whether or not representations are good or bad or strike a false sense of realness for those images, the result is that the problems of the affirmative critique remain intact. Baldonado, Baldonado in 96. It cannot be ignored the representations affect the ways in which it, uh, actual individuals are perceived. Although many see representations as harmless likenesses, they do not have the real effect on the world. They are meant to relay a, a message and uh, as the definition show influence opinion and action. We must ask what ideological work these representations, the common representation of the images, or ideas are formed in the mind have vast implications for real people in real context. Both the scarcity and importance of minority representation yield what may have been called the burden of representation when a spokesperson or a certain image is read as a, uh, as a metonomic representation being more difficult and, and, and dangerous. Solutions for this uh, conundrum are difficult to We can call for increased self representation or the inclusion of more individuals from marginalized groups in the act of representing, yet this is easier said than done. Also, the inclusion of more minority representation will not necessarily alter the structure or institutional barriers that prevent equal participation for all in representation. Focus on whether uh, images are negative or positive, leaves intact and reliance on the realness, or if images are realness that is false to begin with. And finally, turn the case reifies realism by promoting hierarchy. Green and Ching in 97. Attempts to assert identities uh, defined by reality and, and, and rusticity are both less and more than revolution. While rustics are often identified with the right and its racist, ethnocentric, or, or, or nationalist ideology, we suggest that they are made conservative by others. By colonial and developmental uh, experts validating their own authority and importance by urbanized and needing a low uh, ether against which to claim their superiority. By religious leaders attempting to preserve their power over the family, the far right understands the role of people's alienation and exploits to transform their bitter uh, desperation to political action that sees the right of uh, broader agenda. In other words, the marginality of rustic people renders them vulnerable to conservative maneuvering, but every at uh, more self-conscious rustic resistance could challenge the such manipulation to the, the, to the degree that rustic empowerment prevents other groups from asserting and capitalizing on their marginality. It is regressive and discriminatory. The study of identity politics inadvertently maintains that existing cultural hierarchies and uh, contributions to the persistent lack of solidarity among those at the bottom. This presentation of identity aggressively embraces many devalued stereotypes of rusticity. Its performance may actually reinforce existing uh, cultural hierarchies even when its objective is to question them. By providing ever more vivid images of rural backwardness, such resistance could actually sustain the rustic low that underwrites the relative value of the urbane high. Questioning the cultural ascendancy of urbanity takes an important step towards a unified challenge to diverse system, system of certification, bringing together all those that are beyond the urban pale from the redneck to the inner city, uh, r r resident from the uh, peasants to the urban. You can see these images in their Bassett Evans and also the Barry Evans very specifically. Make sure you stand up there so they're in the camera. Yeah. Start off with this from all the evidence you read. Mm -hmm. um, explain to me what the last line is. I don't understand. Oh, it's just basically saying that like your focus on these images presupposes that they are like somehow um, real. And it, it kind of feeds into our preaching our, our argument that when you presuppose that the real the, the representation of the, the images perpetuates uh, those stereotypes and kind of like reinforces our, our, our so superiority the complex. What's the alternative to that? Like, isn't, it like, how, isn't this not indicative of the status like, quo and like how our yeah, and, and our, our, all, our, all, our alternative has to do with ontology and like reshaping the way that we come to see the. I don't, uh, I don't care about the alternative right now. I want well, like, okay. I don't know how this is indicative of the affirmative. Because you portray people and and, and, and the, like general society's images of the rustic as uh, being negative, and, and by doing this, this reinforces the realness behind those images and make, makes people in the audience so perceive so them as being real. real. It perpetuates hierarchy. So what's happening in Sasquatch is not real? Like no, like, the, the things that you're talking about aren't real. The, the, like, people in, in, in rural communities are not rednecks for the most part, and many of them are, like, normal people, but we, did the, like, your app depicts them as such. That's what we're saying is bad. Our app depicts people in rural areas. Your like only that. description of rural people is your vast evidence that calls them stupid, lazy, and dirty. Is that not the indictment of the app? But that's what we're saying with the ball not, not, not evidence. It doesn't matter if you're defending so them or have, trying to get rid of them. Have a list of every single, like that would be the alternative to have every single representation. No, we're just saying that your focus on images only like reinforces those images okay. within society. Okay, um, on the Zoom and Evans, why is Warren inside bad? Hmm? Why are Warren inside bad? Ecocide? Ecocide. That just has to do with like, like, they're not necessarily bad. They're just things that uh, occur because 
of like our our orientation towards the world. Like when we take that manager, uh, but then you should play your play in terms of reading the Zimmerman edits as well. You should. Um, no, the Zimmerman, the, 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 our, our main impact is that you turn beans into the standing reserve that causes them yes, to be seen as a why, why you be using that to like why work that? Well, that was just a piece of evidence saying that like, you, like your managerial, like like ego driven, um, like posturing towards the world, it, 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 it is one that just causes violence. Like, I know, why is that bad? I mean, I guess it's not, it doesn't have to be. That's not our biggest impact, we don't have to go for it. Okay, let's talk about the creation evidence. Mm -hmm. um, how is our app and the representation of identity and politics that are being like, You say that there's this realistic identity that has been encapsulated and discriminated against that we need to free it from uh, like cultural hierarchies, and we say that's the wrong way of approaching it. Like identity well, politics will only reinscribe hierarchy. But how is it not also indigenous to us from our firm of being able to make criticism of these identity politics? It, it, one's going to have to do the representation. Right uh, framework and the case. Okay. Morality is a form of management. However, first of all, no link. We aren't calling for an actual speaking for the others and calling for an overall unlike movement or anything. Actually, say the runners were saying when we need to reshape our own, our own like exit field, like the way that we actually view them. I mean, there's no link to the argument. But secondly, it's only through recognition of the typical alleviation of victimization of oppressed rural whites so that we can transcend racial and class boundaries. Meaning that our act is a prerequisite to the uh, representation of our choice. Right? In 97, we admitted that it's hard to imagine that non-victimized whiteness joining the rank of multiculturalism and creating space to twofold critique that attracts conventional assumption of whiteness, conventional assumption of multiculturalism, critiquing and undermining the notion of multi uh, 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 multicultural identities and victim identities and questions we believe to be victimized and that can be anti-racist multiculturalism and, and perspective. Uh, and perspective. They say that speaking for others in the representations are bad. However, first of all, no link. We are representing people as being subordinate, rather we're saying that it's indicative of the status quo. We call for uh, we call for uh, seeing rule uh, seeing like supposedly rule of people as being a positive image, which is why the representation remedy doesn't matter, but also the critique without action does nothing to change the conversation of the court. This means no impact there. It does two powers of productive forces rather purely negative powers that simply repress the rule of force rather than size and still produce effect in the body of repression and resistance, not ontologically distinct rather repression produces its own resistance. There are no relations of power without resistance. Resistance wasn't the captain adjustment protection and self discourse and produces power reinforcing and undermining the explosive and factual makes it possible to thwart all the inscription of poverty or clearly the there is quite physical, immediate, and pressing, devastating lives to the poor women and children in the United States today through activism we became increasingly aware of individual blocks and sex condescension the collective by outside resistance for the source of uh, for the source of power. And also they say that we reify the same uh, harms uh, with, with hierarchy. However, first of all, this is assuming the preservation of identity politics or evidence is talking specifically about how we identify how we talk about how identity politics is a rejection specifically our no certain evidence uh, our ambassador evidence talks about how identity politics are uniquely bad. We need to get away from it and actually embrace it all, uh, a means of like intersectionality and looking at the different intersections specifically. We are working with ruralism right now is actually a key place for this because uh, because the type of discrimination and the backgrounds of these individuals are actually very intersectional, come from very distinct backgrounds from different areas, think it's a better place to go. And also, and also, we see ruralism as a starting point of questions, not an association of identity politics. The reason why we simply don't, uh, the reason why we simply don't link to your arguments, and even when this or political action solves the negative effects of representation of polymers, and seven, the existentially most important uh, knowledge of everyday life and technology, culture, the hate is not our side. And actually, there's an explanation finally else the threats of consciousness abuse, the daily environment, the situation that's changing, and any creative field as we begin from the question of absoluteness of the world, with the recent sedation of the boundaries of the self educational change concerning significant sensory well to do name. Most discover ourselves with complete physical and mental beings will utilize capabilities to make us less vulnerable manipulation exploitation. And even more importantly, an unbiased and full understanding that human existence is a prerequisite for dignified uh, for dignified life. Plus, also to making a few concessions that are particularly damning, extend the own five minutes here and how rethinking the first of the balance means epistemology is ultimately key to taking back these uh, type of harms anyhow, because we can constantly rethink the representation. But when you see that's a beauty of having a rep uh, of having an advocacy of simply trying to rethink because they can sell these things back, they also can see the following basic free evidence of how recognition is key to change anyhow, because without recognition, it has to be a starting point because if you don't do this, the harms that you're identifying both in the particular case law are inevitable, they're also dropping the two pieces of the draw evidence, particularly damning, because the first piece talked about how the question is prerequisite because it challenges the rooted assumptions that actually go to the type of representation securitization framework that you're criticizing. Conceding the second piece, particularly damning, because Dro talks about how there's no way your Heideggerian criticism can solve any of the impact happening in, the, in the, either in the SAS or with the case until you actually interrogate the concealed ego that actually has the type of knowledge within it. There's a reason why you have to interrogate it. There's a reason why the permutation is all 100% offense on that. Go to uh, the case. All right.
Congress will have the tough permutation debate. Per view, both ministers just to call a unified and open national modernity. These problems strategy remains open all of the nation. Almost on individuals. They can be able to bring collective fascism and allowing modernity. The answer is all problems that remain in that. You think there's not an appropriate thing. They'll pay homage to self concealing a business. And then patriarchal hybrid computer has having to call into question the masculine dimension. They own a blog track that reminds us dangerous of applying the paradigm of choice. To explain too much, Christopher urged not to make the difference between male and female. A binary opposition with a varied economy made a world opposition. Equal two rivals and understood the belonging to benefits. And no skill explanation can help to account for the extraordinary complexity of all norms of modern technology. We must keep in mind the danger of Heidegger's worldview. must also take his critique of the technocratic character of humankind is to achieve liberation, oppression, and avoid destroying the ecosystem of the universe and need to completely celebrate differences. The attempt to define both the protective rights and interests of arguably common great minority of humans in the point of history of the development alternative that it had to toward nature, which emphasizes the importance of reasoning and it's all scientific without the time and degenerate and allow non mechanism and average just suggest that the natural world is far too complex to be understood in terms of physical principles. Search for the final truth is flawed, and because the very activity and interpretation changes from what is being interpreted, also because the universe itself is changing in ways that transcend activity and interpretation, Heidegger would have agreed with the conclusion that human existence is historical and thus lacks absolute foundations for product and attitudes. Also, the epistemological criticism the YC is key to ontology and how before, because before you can actually invite an ontological criticism of something, you still have to know how ontology works. The risk to this is that if you go into an ontological discovery without first questioning how you uh, how your knowledge is produced, or that it can replicate the same exact harm that you're trying to get out of it, the reason why ontology that can solve the offense our case can go to the link today, link debate. Cool. They read this first suffering as a managerial approach. However, critical pedagogy is also the anyhow because we're creating the root assumption in this. Also, we're controlling the English anyhow because the whole endemic of this ass. We only have the way a chance that the affirmative moves away from this. Also, there's no link to the technological thought. We're just questioning thoughts. We don't have an actual action or any political action, which is the reason why there's a links go away immediately. We don't have a planet tax. Also, big order is also their big order. It's worse than half my jokes. It says morality is a tool. Then it's not saying that's either true or a warrant. It's just saying if it happened to be true, this would be the case. It means that you should really look down upon the evidence because it's like lacking warrants. Plus, also, uh, plus also, group this government evidence here. First of all, we critique the notion of Zimmerman's calculation in the 1AC, where he's talking about how this calculation led to ruralism and despotism of rural people because we try to actually produce better. But secondly, we don't defend a plan action in the 1AC. There's no predictive action. It takes down 100% of your Zimmerman list and your calculable place. We only have to win a reason for why our moral framework, we only have to win a reason for why our questioning framework is good. If they cannot identify a specific piece of evidence that talks about why epistemology is something that Heidegger has a problem with, they should not be able to win a, be able to win a link argument. Also, uh, yeah, go down the alternative. First of all, the alternative has several problems. First of all, theoretical objection has no plantex means the alternative can morph from the block. More from the block is simply to have because first of all, predictability can't keep up with this. Secondly, moving target, we can't think what they're going to go for. But also, it, it starts as a rejecting alternative because they can morph from the block means there's no way the two ACs can actually get the two ACs. The only type of problem being that losing time to give in this speech is particularly bad. Also, the, also the plantex is vague. We have no idea what releasing means. Just by throwing to the off. Also, we have some disadvantages to it. Postmodern thought the current centers itself around the uh, urban subjectivity, ignoring reality, uh, creating G in '97. Uh, postmodern social theory is able to represent the point in the city and questionably presents an organized subject and considering the extent of which subjects are currently conceptual. Uh, Opposition to adjust the most possible theory, the country in the final place and simply doesn't insist to be in terms of form of geography, simply reforms traditional term, but development and development tackling assuming that city will eventually engulf the country and speak of the ABC of the rule of life, nobody of opposition, primarily statement of relative political social station, specialization, the agreement, adherence, and bringing collective social order workers, that the only organ worthy of critical attention in the city is not idiotic, but just by a just violently marginal and vegetable, similar assumption of an enemy the new discipline of cultural studies, the blends of a predominantly urban vision, plus the breakdown of cultural hierarchies and the diverse range of unregulated cultural choice and the political hierarchy for uh, not the political hierarchy for what they promise and cultural studies and Modernism and moral subjectivity means that cases of this ideal alternative create and she can not accept you intellectual deep rural rules. And for those who do education off the the connection to traditional pe uh, pedagogical agenda and alignment through the little rod, supposing the supposed essence of the rusty lack of cultural sophistication, preference, and practical knowing and how to wrote it. It's saying describe the rational, uh, uh, yeah, the rather traditional education. I was educated in the wrong place in the lectures. See, for years, the educa uh, educational display they do consider rural issues often turn to schemes of development and improvement, which validate their own culture or place. The peasants learn from the intellectual to reinforce the hegemony of urban. They, they accept the central value of, uh, of uh, rotation and begin to see themselves in the diary of the intellectual to provide to speak for Rustic for questioning the force that makes us bring drillic was necessary ultimately to reinforce the very cultural hierarchies that obstinately challenges the tempting tempting for intellectuals to dismiss the criticism that rural idiocy. But once we recognize that intellectual is an aspect of identity politics, we need not to take it personally. Also, justify the problem to do the, do the planet alternative area that are instance because it's all the type of ontological claims that are claims of coming out more because we're taking that piston to make it poke. And we must abandon a single theoretical perspective or risk of failure. Right in 2006, the search for a unified theory of social differentiation bringing together class, race, gender, and sex analysis, a single comparative framing that initially built to those analytical solid shape the post structuralism constructing theory of anything a little scary. Surrounded by deconstructionists, but after negative theoretical civil war structures, post structuralists, objectivists, and subjectivists, we can sense the beginning of a true or perhaps in the same way in such a way, one is certainly being left behind the ability of the so called discipline, bound knowledges, and risking total failure to boot, providing warning, analytical approaches, and false transgressing disciplinary boundaries, committing treason, and those who are the ones who loyal and subverting political expectation on all sides. And Heidegger's attention to authenticity of heritage Nazi logic turns the critique whole into Huntington in 2001. Heidegger appeals to the idea of the handling of the possibility of inheriting the yet chosen version, takes seriously the uh, various processes of the subject, and protecting cultural influences in the short of allowing the vague idea of constructing the completely obliterating concept of the 
to the problem is that analysis takes so much of an often specific notion of heritage, and everything is good at heritage and character. characters are goodness, like making authentic exists and possibly at hand. Age constitutes itself resoluteness. It's hard to avoid the conclusion that others are higher ahead in the mind, others will be good, those that have heritage, hatred, gap, wars, and the thief, and those who do not see believe or guess in the rule, and the alternative can never solve the case anyhow because they take an ontological approach. Our own evidence is very clear that the only way of actually challenging the idea of ruralism is to question the epistemic, the, the epistemic promotion in a certain way that we reconstruct the idea of ruralism because the ultimately key also ontology can't ever do this because sure, we can find it a more stable form of being. However, this ignores the central fact that all it does is tells us who we are. It doesn't tell us how we should view other people, or more importantly, how that ontology is actually centered around the idea of we already assuming who other people are. It's the reason why epistemology is always key, and postmodernism and intellectual endeavor in general are all well in the urban bias and thus failing to acknowledge the unique situation of true well or bass in 2003. We're forced to urban bias of both our theories and our mirror that shows a place in the own academic psyche and politics and becoming an intellectual field of too heavy rural rules to do education officers. This diversity's connection also present the rise of the rural situation academic to essence of credit education as a tantamount to urbanization of the mind. Also, the app is a prerequisite for the critique any how you can go to the point of ontology without questioning how knowledge is produced and anyhow, let's also work on sell back the links and sell back the impacts. Anyhow, we're a rejection, uh, we're a, an explicit rejection of the type of things that Heidegger had problems with technical technocrat control the situation. If they can articulate a reason why their link evidence differentiates their alternative of simply questioning being from our alternative of questioning epistemology, they shouldn't get a link meaning that we only need to win a chance of offense. Let's just do a hypothetical real quick. Let's just say like one day you wake up and you realize that you as an individual have a different um, like way of interacting with the government than like most other individuals because of your intelligence, because of your social location. And because of that, it changes the way that you know how to interact with the, um, the government. Would that not like show a correlation between ontology and epistemology? Not necessarily. There'd be no way of verifying that my knowledge is any deeper. Our second piece of drugs, okay, well, is very descriptive. That the issue isn't just conscious knowledge, but subconscious okay. knowledge. Oh, that oh, we oh subconscious knowledge. Okay, yeah. good. Let's expand this hypothetical. Huh. You wake up one morning and you're black. You realize your social location is shitty in the United States. You've been oppressed your whole life. Mm -hmm. What kind of like orientation toward the government do you have? Well, first of all, thanks for like double turning your representations argument. But also, secondly, it's like there's a whole issue too where that ignores the fact of how it, like knowledge itself is the root of questioning what just happened. Even if an ontological transformation just okay. happened, new being. But it's still the fact that you need to know that how new, knowledge to process. But understanding that new social location, you have a new way of understanding how you are able to interact, right? Ultimately, that's tied to epistemology, though, and the way you conceive the world and react to it. Ontology is just being as you are in your essence. Okay. So epistemology itself so still like, affects, if, like if your ontology is different or you realize that you have a different ontology than those people, would that not also affect the way you know the world? Like there'd be no way of telling that you had a different ontology or no and way of knowing it without questioning your epistemic values. So why do you know it? that just because of your your epistemic values? Like I don't I don't I don't understand the internal link between like, being able to like like see see the world for what it is and, and being able to like know it. I don't know. Well, the tantamount problems like the alternative you're like clarifying calls that we just it, try to embrace this idea of releasement of embracing the ontology. The problem is, is that if we embrace it, we still have some embedded knowledge otherwise that may actually infect it. I.e., when we turn to this new people, we assume other people's being is less significant than our own. That's ultimately the problems of the one AC and to an extent Heidegger's problem. Okay. So epistemology so, like, should be the first step to so question this knowledge. Okay, uh, hold on a second. There. Yeah. Okay, so the judge votes. Affirmative. Ruralism goes away. Do rural people suddenly have a new orientation towards the government? Like, like are they suddenly richer? Like, more ruralism doesn't around? just go away. All we're saying is that the judge should endorse the best framework that offers the best epistemic questions of how we frame it. Okay, so as long as we can show that we uh, uh, affect the epistemic like values of people, we, we can win the round. Like, even if you were to win, like, ontology leads to epistemology, you have no reason why epistemology would be a bad approach. Or why epistemology know, I, doesn't I, lead ontology. I mean, okay, yeah, we never said that was a, a, deep, a bad approach. Um, okay. Do you have any burning questions? No. no. Let's see. What was your, your, your first link argument? Because I, I didn't get that quite. The first link argument? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just on the link debate. We yeah, said that. Like your second one, though, you, you don't have technological thought. What was your first um, one? Critical pedagogy critical sells back in your residual link. Okay. okay.
set up just to get a quick question. Um, six or eight. Brian, he does not believe the lie of the people that
Poopy. Poopy. Block order is critique, case debate, then taking the perm and the link debate. What does taking the link debate mean? He put that link stuff at the top of the criticism that indicted there's specific pieces of evidence. Oh, okay, he's just saying that stuff? Yeah. But you're starting at like 2AC number two. two. Yeah, his small as he And then you're Are skipping you? all the link stuff and starting with Zimmerman? No, are you going two then three? The link stuff just that shuck and jive he did at the top. Yeah, it's that stuff he did at the top. I mean, I have that as a number three. I just like said all right, no, we'll just labeled it link. We'll we'll just make this really simple. I'm gonna go down the, the order of the criticism. Whatever I don't capture with the link stories goes to the page. But he's taking the perms regardless. Okay. <laughs> Promises, is problems. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when you said you'd make that or make it simple, you know you lied, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get here. So I, I have you starting with number two. I really don't know what that means when everyone else is slow because my flow is a little. Uh, nice. Yeah, you're on the number two. That's why you need to be baby and ask you this. Please It makes some theory arguments that are about alternative alternative debate. He talks about it's more of an alternative moving target, plan text, and really some hard to characterize. This is urbanized view of wave debate. This is creating cheek evidence. But the high, like, group this create this. Um, are you confused? Where are no, you? No, no, Okay. Yeah, they're talking about this like this. Heidegger criticized this. Uh, this po postmodern criticism of Heidegger. Heidegger criticizes postmodern thought. The reorientation of the subject is key. It solves back to the dichotomy creation of urban rule in the first place. Like none of this credentialing Bassett or uh, evidence is applicable to um, Heidegger's alternative of release the, uh, Again, like this epistemology ontology debate I'll get, get onto in the case. All right, let's drop down to the big first big order piece of evidence. The word of it is specific. It's impossible to rethink ontology for our main goals, perpetuate discrimination, so that we may still have an impetus for ethical action. What they do is they say that rule, like the only reason why we ought to act is because rural dwellers make us feel bad about the way we treated them. Therefore, we must act ethically. Releasement allows us to reorient ourselves and construct a new ethical standard upon which we can address ruralism. The affirmative is an attempt to resolve some guilty feelings stemming from racism against rural dwellers. This is a locus of action that ensures that we will never act ethically, only to resolve our own discomforts. This epistemological approach does nothing to reorient the subject in the future, and their impacts become inevitable. Discrimination takes a new and worse, because they think they've solved the problem, we become complacent. Both big order cards speak specifically to this action process. And on this Heidegger is a Nazi stuff. <laughs> After 1934, Heidegger began to withdraw from Nazi political involvement, was critical of the will to power behind agents. It's a rock rhyme five years. I put into a registration in the 19th. Spring of 1934, moved through from all political involvement, became increasingly critical of the modern world of power, believed it was behind the agents of the leading nation, including Germany from 1934. Heidegger's system solved the regime to grow, uh, delivered the nature of electricity existence to grow, the extent Heidegger should only be regarded as a Nazi, still maintained it. It's better to try to use sort of positive influence on national socialism rather than stand aside. Plus, our Heidegger evidence was produced after his departure from the Nazi party. These arguments are irrelevant. And the excuse, excuse to talk, the dichotomy for Heidegger's political life precludes understanding. This is Thompson in 05. In the historical examination of Heidegger controversy shows along as the character of the trial is excused or accused of economy structure of the field of competing interpretation of white scholars who take sides of the prosecution and defense. Unfortunately, the episode of logic increasingly dominates public sphere with the West. Comments are talking heads talking past one another to obscure the fact that complex matters of the truth is usually located in um, opposing extremes so an unfit full of political purposes of demagogues on the other side of the binary polarization and long demands the single to noise ratio of the so-called Heidegger cause by putting the judicial paradigm on either to condemn or exonerate before the community has to be first to understand. Again, like it really messes up the debate to described as such. And this dichotomy reiteration is, again, a reiteration of a link that their creation of dichotomies is key to their epistemological framework, which is the key to, like, managerial technological thinking. It reduces things to standing reserve. We'll get onto that on the alternative debate. Okay, let's look to the alternative debate. Um, they said that the alternative can't solve because they must challenge the epistemological basis of ontology only questions who we are and not how we relate to one another. But the alternative in its interaction with politics is characterized by Guy's description of the loss in height. It talks about um, our way to Avoid the violent position of a program on being through systematic attempts to order and manage the world, i.e. epistemology. Only releasement allows for a revelation of politics that comes to us, destroying the violent position of a subjective will. This is Guyman 101. A radical departure from politics we understood have announced that attempt to suspect the order of control of physical and human nature. Plus the Heidegger's point of exception of politics, a violent will position program on means we need to get let go of the consolidation of power and control, the direction of conforming homogenization cannot be turned effectively overcome by exerting counter force by attempting to control the security majority of control, but admitting conformity to another universal norm. Jolas and I means the letting politics come to us. It is a mistake to think that we can properly engage to listen to others so long as we are simultaneously protecting and advancing our own separate spheres of identities. The openness of an approximately situated human being is only possible to move away from all attempts to systemize and control. This entails political risk, yet remains compelling as the best way to convert a large scale balance to reshape our personal 
political action in such a way that's fundamentally non vile poetic thinking is just that move. And they said that the affirmative is a prerequisite to the alternative or explicit rejection of thought and is linked to evidence of discrimination, but the alternative is preferable because it solves back the harms of ruralism that they articulate, namely environmental management its effect on rural dwellers without risk of linking to the dissonance on the case, which we'll get to in a minute. The creating evidence talks about the co-optation of false representations, which again, we'll get onto on the case. Okay, so let's look to the Jarrow evidence. The, the link, that, the first link story that been set up. Six was damning on the Jarrow question. They can't even tell you how it interacts with ruralism. The point is that their epistemological reorientation has nothing to do with the rural urban dichotomy. The Jarrow evidence points you to the alternative without a risk of willing to false representations, co-optation, or an ego-driven will to power. And they, all right, let's go to case. They feel like we're losing people. Okay. Let's look down to this before they talk about no link, there's no speaking for there's no movement, recognize oppression, talk about this new it's a great evidence. But they agree that merely talking about ruralism is key. They can see them on the ballot. It is not necessary to shed light on ruralism. They've already done that with the 1 AC. Even if they recharacterize their advocacy in the next speech, which I'm really which I'm sure that they'll do, the harms of co-optation and reentrenching discrimination through the guilt response are dissatisfied to, to the affirmative. The representations are not solved back by the case. A residual link to the cream chain co-optation argument still exists. So let's go there. The case reifies rules in turn. Extend the Korean chain evidence, which is a damning dissent of the case. It talks about representing rural dwellers in a negative light, allows the radical right to co opt your movement. See that that's where the real cage rates are, preserve naturalism and ethnocentric thinking. Their movement risks regressiveness. Bass's characterizations are constant and only frames of reference in the round. If there were more depictions, they failed to include them, which speaks to the co optation. As, uh, uh, as for their own Adair evidence that talks about characterizing people in a certain way without addressing their material concerns, is damning to solvency and that it's uh, reintroduces discrimination. The only way to solve back of that is the alternative of release. All right, let's go down to their Barry evidence. Okay, let's pick apart this Barry evidence. It's a link, it's a, a link that Ben sets up in his last speech that we'll talk about again. One of the biggest harms they point out about ruralism is that agribusiness can exert managerial control because of discriminatory attitudes. Without an impact of discrimination outside of that, the alternative solves back the impact of ruralism because managerial attitudes have no ontological basis in the world of the negative. Until they can articulate another impact outside of environmental management, you've got no reason to prefer the affirmative or why the locus of decision starts with the urban rural dichotomy. A epistemological focus isn't necessary in the urban rural dichotomy if the only effects are managerial the alternative solves back for that problem. Then, on the Baldonado, Baldonado debate, they say that there's no link to representations. They critique without action. Does that mean to change the stigmatization of poor? This is their evidence. I love this is their evidence. It talks about addressing material concerns of those stigmatized as key. They mentioned three times in the other flow that they are not an action, but an epistemological reorientation. Their own criticism that we should complain without an action is pot calling the kettle black. Not only this, but the representations are a method of co option that creating and illuminate is what entrenches discrimination of rural dwellers in the first place. They're hijacking of narratives of rural dwellers as an attempt to win the ballot. It's not just morally suspect, but functions as a dissent in their case. They have a harm to publication. They can't escape. It's just kind of beautiful how they handed this evidence to us. The alternative of a release when Saul's back in the event of the entire evidence disappears without a risk of link to representations or guilt. And they cross apply their own argument about epistemology key on the Baldonado evidence, but egotistical subjectivity is rooted in Cartesian dualism that defies the human subject charged with mastering both nature and being itself. This is a permanent A1. They can't reduce these to ideal representations whose validity is determined according to the standards of the ego subject, but cannot be symmetric because the object of superstition and real to be an object for the subject. Because the subject makes its own self certain, the ultimate standard for truth and nature truth changes. Rational man is the measure of all things. Nature is the stockpile of resources to value lies. Only gratifying human desires. Western man seeks to gain security not by knowing reality, but by mastering it. This interacts with our make order argument as well. Like their representations, as for their Bassett and um, Barry evidence, talks about uh, like the impact of realism merely, merely being in the realm of managerialism. If you look to this, that they create this duality with this kind of evidence, this Zimmerman evidence talks about how by like reducing rural people as per border evidence as merely an impetus for our white guilt or like our ruralist guilt that we feel towards rural dwellers, it's like setting an epistemological basis that proves that rural dwellers only survive for, our, for their validity and for their value in terms of making us act ethically. They reduce them to singers, they reduce them to their utility of making us act ethically, which turns back their case. And they, say, they talk about this identity politics argument. They say that ruralism is a key place. It's an intersectional, it's a better place for, and they say political action solves. Look back to our embedded the very evidence. The only reason why the rural urban dichotomy is the locus for the affirmative for change is because of the managerial impact on rural dwellers. Once we solve back to this thinking, the starting point is totally arbitrary. This is another reason why their epistemological focus is rooted in the ego driven will to will that can't escape the Zimmerman and die. And they talk about how they go to the root of representations that Heidegger can't solve about the concealed ego must interrogate. That's exactly what we're saying. The questions of reflective thinking are part of the course in the world of the alternative. 
Basically, what this means is that the alternative can solve back the entirety of the case without risk of linking two representations or to this guilt argument that McWhorter talks about. Not only that, but where the, a couple of uh, separate case, term dis, case terms that function on the case, including the Creed and Shane that they um, reify rules and that they risk co-optation by the far right, and this uh, Adair argument that they are a criticism without um, a real world implication or a material concern um, implication means that they can't, they've granted themselves no solvency in this case. So it's really a question about the starting point of epistemology and ontology. We've already told you that if epist that ontology can solve back the reasons why they locate this debate in the rural urban dichotomy, then there's no reason to prefer their starting point. Epistemology is captured by ontology, it makes more inroads in the alternative world, there's more risk of solvency without a risk of linking to the dissets of guilt and representations, and then we'll get on to the why the problem doesn't mitigate that solvency. So when you and identify people that you're linking. No, it's when you locate rural dwellers as our impetus for action, like the way that we feel bad about the way we've treated them, it means that we reduce them to their right. value in terms of their right. ethical okay. ability to what make us okay. act. What about that's the people, the, what about the people, the okay, what about the people in your Zimmerman evidence that he says calculus thought dehumanizes and therefore we should stop? Is this not using the same logic? Uh, I don't understand why Zimmerman's indict of dehumanization of calculative logic interferes with my indict of your calculus. Okay, logic. tell me how exactly, like, I don't know, what does like the rule of releasement look like to the alternative? Okay, the rule of releasement, um, Heidegger talks about with that with the Gaiman evidence, this uh -huh. is and Heidegger. It's like politics so. coming to us. It's preventing the systematic ordering of the world that uh, allows it to come to us. Okay. Like, we don't how know do you, what that looks like because that? in framing cur okay. currently colors, yeah, I got your answer. I got your answer. How do you like spur that? Um, like that's not the point. We're just saying that like the judge should vote for it because it's a good idea. Oh, like it's it's a good but it's a good it way happen? to look at um, the, managerial. The alternative politics. doesn't solve case laws that happen. So how do you do that? Okay, like this reorientation solves back for the managerial thinking, which right. is why you how locate you, this case in the rural urban economy. Please stop place. dodging the question. How do you start the reorientation? Okay, the like the idea that the alternative is a good idea. Releasement from this managerial, e like eco managerialism so that locates rural dwellers if we, so as if we imagine like the for ethical wait, 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 wait. action. So, what you're telling me, we imagine it's possible and it can happen. So, why can't the No, like the point of the ballot in this debate, which I've already made some inroads on here, like you're not going to get around that the fact that I made that argument in my last speech, mm -hmm. is that the role of the ballot is to determine like who's doing the better, like we'll agree with you, like who's doing the better debating, that's fine, like who's got the better idea, that's right, cool too. I'm but so curious, like, on mean, what basis though does this ring orientation happen? I want to know how the alternative works. Okay, the alternative works by saying that like in a, in a world where we release ourselves from this managerial like, thinking. How do you release yourself though? Okay, medi this, meditative, this meditative thinking that Heidegger talks about in our uh, Solomon's evidence. So uh, meditative our, thinking, our so we have to have an idea of meditative thinking. Then. Okay, yeah, like I can show you some cool. techniques, but it's like a subjective experience so, for God idea, like, is not, not something I can so, describe for you. So we have to have like a knowledge idea of what releasement would be. Okay, no, Derek, there's, it's impossible to describe for you what releasement would look like for each subjective oh, person. It's impossible I can show you some techniques I meditate daily, like I can uh, show you, but I mean, I can't tell you what uh, that looks like for oh, you. Oh, no, 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 I'll take that as impossible to describe. That's perfectly cool. Let's talk about case a little bit. Okay. Uh, you start talking about how we use a guilt complex. How's that at all responsive to our evidence talking about how like this idea of calling out the way we frame people is the only way to get past it. Like, why okay, should we worry because about you only call words? about the way you frame about people because you feel bad about it. That means that they, so, they are served so, as like a representation of patriarchy well, so, like, so, so that you so can act like so you're reducing, reducing rural people to the same thing that you, you've indicted. Like, it's ridiculous. That was productive. Rub time. Second perm link perm theory. No, I'm just going to do like first perm, second perm link theory. Sounds good. 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 I'm saying that's what, that's what, that's what, we believe this is. Yeah, so did you, I, yeah, we're making fun of you, but this is something. 
<laughs> so, uh, uh, and we were, so we were, yeah, it's just a huge one. Sweet, it's not just me. All right. Well, uh, so it's Derek's fault. The perm, first perm, second perm, links, then I'm going to do some theory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever, just start talking. Okay. And say things like, I'm now answering second perm. Scott, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> On their Zimmerman card. I'm just kidding. That, that, that won't help this position. I, I will actually be saying that. Ready? Number one, the, the permits of net deficit A, the plan necessarily frames rural people attempting to manage the situation represented to us on the one and see this instrumentalized rural people suffering, uh, turning them into a standard reserve, preserve for consumption, necessarily altering the being into a mechanized reserve that further alienates us from, uh, from being. That's our, our first amendment card. B, the plan rests on a flawed ontology, even when they espouse a new pedagogy, their guilt written orientation toward this problem prevents any solvency for the affirmative, meaning that because of the general managerial posture toward the world, they will always find something about the world that is unacceptable, leading to a dubious justification that is the cause of the harm that they seek to get rid of in the first place. That's our first amendment card. C, their uh, Zimmerman card is a double turn against them because they've essentialized the experience of rural people coming out of the 1AC. This ignores the multiplicity of narratives that Zimmerman uh, calls for, thus establishing a dominant narrative that seeks to efface the legitimacy of other narratives, showing how they cannot access a better world through the perm. Also, we don't offer a single alternative. Rather, releasement is a process whereby we become open to all options within being. This is a double turn as it shows how their focus on policy, sorry, their focus on epistemology is an intellectual endeavor that attempts to subsume all other perspectives. D, their ray evidence goes our way. So long as they exclusively want to take an epistemological approach to breaking down hierarchies, they exclude other approaches that might be more efficacious, thus risking total failure. This is uh, warranted by all their claims to exclusivity on the, on the epistemology debate. E, only the alternative can solve because it takes into account the interdependent forces of understanding that come from an uh, uh, epistemic and ontological orientation. Number two. The plan and the alternative are mutually exclusive. A, the plan is a world in which there is a perfectly uh, a perfect form to be achieved something is not right in the status quo, so it is their duty to fix it. This sort of ego-driven thought process prevents from being able to, uh, prevents being from revealing itself to us, denying existence as it leads us into a life without insight uh, into the essence of human life or any other part of uh, being in general. That's our uh, second piece of Zimmerman evidence. B, this, uh, this revelation is necessary for us to understand the biosphere and thus be able to act positively toward the earth. That's our second McWhorter card. Also, their attempts to fix the problems of realism is indicative of a homogenized exertion of power that continuously frames being and prevents us from being able to uh, to let go of our ego-driven politics. That's what the uh, Gaiman card read in the 2 and C. C, also, uh, they, ont uh, they ontologically remove us from, from the view of being. This prevents us from having an authentic relation to the other. This inauthenticity makes their, pedag uh, their pedagogical approach ineffective and links them back into the case debate where Creed and Shing say that when we question the cultural hierarchies using uh, uh, dominion uh, representations that come out of their basset evidence, they actually reinscribe the discriminatory epistemolo epistemology that they seek to get rid of. D. They can't escape the, uh, the magnitude of our link look to their first piece of evidence. It demands that we alter. Uh, actually, scratch D. Number three, and, and this is for both perms. The perm is uh, theoretically illegitimate. Uh, a, it's vague. When they asked for a type of perm, they were like, oh, let's do both. But there's a million cards about awaiting for release as a prerequisite for doing both. This makes it impossible to debate them. It places unfair pressure on the two and all. This means that they can never win in destroys debate. B, they separate from the text of their one AC. If it is to do both, then they have to abandon those parts of the affirmative uh, that enclose being and prevent release. If it is to do the alt, then the app, and, or sorry, the, the app and then the alt in all other instances, this separates from the urgency of their plan and acts as a moving target. Both of these uh, reasons make it impossible to debate because the naked never access any stable naked ground. Okay. Second perm. On the second perm, they say do the affirmative and then the all in all other instances, they can't escape the calculative implications of their very evidence, which goes un, uh, which goes conceded literally, uh, and it literally calls for the affirmative plan because of the harm that stem from industrial agricultural managerialism. It is, uh, if it does not cause benefit analysis, then I don't know what is. This links them hard into our make order evidence, which despite D-Baby Nasty's ad hominems is hot like the sun. When they respond to a calculated ethical compulsion of suffering, this, that essentially is the expression of the experience of rural people, which penetrate, perpetuates human domination. This shows how their one instance of the affirmative action will only perpetuate discriminatory uh, epistems. Also, you, the judge, become a part of the process of uh, the reduction to technology. You are the final arbiter in our process of empathetic compulsion that is used to uh, see the status quo of epistemology as bad. This instrumentalizes your role as the judge into a ballot signing machine. Also, without altering their ontological orientation, they will remain unable to effectively address the alienation suffered by the rural people, which links them harder into our creed and shaking evidence, showing how their attempts to break down hierarchies actually perpetuate them. Look to CX where, B, uh, where Baby D danced around my hypothetical involvement of black persons ontology. Even if you vote, Affirmative, their epistemic, uh, their epistemic change will not end the discrimination toward this ontology. This, uh, uh, the, uh, like, however, their affirmative action relieves us of guilt and removes our compulsion to act towards re uh, uh, thinking about things. That, uh, thus, the affirmative maintains a calculated dichotomous thinking. Onto the link debate. 
Okay, we, we can isolate the links up through, uh, on four levels. Number one, the manner in which the affirmative attempts to frame the suffering of rural dwellers does perpetuate an essentialized narrative. Number two, Derek says that their critical pedagogy solves the links, but, the, but, the, uh, the, but cross apply my analysis on the second firm, so long as they fail to address the ontological orientation of rural people, their call to actual fall back in the pattern of calculative discrimination. Uh, Derek gives no warning as to how their very evidence isn't technological thinking that pits the cost of the status quo with the benefits of the affirmative. Three, their guilty response to suffering reinforces the managerial technique of dealing with problems. This is exactly Heidegger's criticism because of the error omnipotence with which managers walk around. Four, they say that the McWhorter evidence is bad, but if you read it after the round, in conjunction with the Barry evidence, you'll see an, inter an interesting collusion between what McWhorter criticizes and what Barry's tale of suffering attempts to compel us to do. Okay, theory. This is uh, on uh, the moving target argument that Derek made. They make the argument that our alternative is a moving target and that there is no text. Our text is at the top of the Zimmerman card. We aren't a moving target. We will always defend releasement as our alternative. Instead, our alt is vague. It is impossible to describe. Sorry, Derek, you've got to make the right arguments uh, in the 2AC, the right theory arguments. Don't let them get up in the YR and remake the theory arguments that weren't made in the 2AC. This place is a time scale in the 2NR. It makes it impossible to debate them.